Hey, welcome along. Today we're reviewing a couple of fans. I was I was gonna make a serious video and then I decided, oh god, <laughs> the world is burning. The yeah, fans are good. So here's some comedic relief along with a fan review video. <laughs> Feels great. There's three models that I'm covering today. Uh, there's this breeze white USB table fan, uh, one that's designed for hanging off of a laptop, and then one that you can just plug into a battery bank on the go on airplanes. The three fans are actually really, um, really nice. Uh, they're, a, they're kind of a, a range of different speeds or air pressure. And so uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some slow motion capture shots and up close macro of these fans because that's clearly what you wanted. Also, we're going to show you the VR application because these fans are actually light enough to go and just plug in with an adapter right on to a headset like the Quest. All right, first one, the Sumair Lite. So this one is the um, most uh, safe of the fans uh, that are offered and that I'm just showing off today. So this, this is actually in a plastic cage uh, and it's actually got a variable speed dial. Um, the, the gooseneck cable is quite stiff on all three of these models. I would say none of them feel looser or stiffer than the rest. This one actually tucks in and kind of parks into the plastic housing uh, for travel or things like that. And it actually comes with a little bit of a, like a case, like a carrying pouch. Uh, is that helpful? Not really. But if you get your finger stuck in there, I'd be surprised. Uh, you'd need to go to the ER and, you know, get, get probably a couple of fingers sawn off. But honestly, none of these fans have cutting power. They're not going to make you bleed even if you jam, you know, your finger in there. Uh, which is good, and they all drive nicely off of battery banks, if you like. Uh, so of the three models, this is the one that's got the kind of weirdest connector. Um, you basically pull this out and you just jam it into a battery bank. Uh, I've tested it on like lipstick size battery banks um, and even large ones, you know, like 10,000 and up milliamp hour, and they all work really nice. Um, this one I, I like a lot. This is the, uh, the most recent purchase that I've had. It's actually designed, it's got a kind of a bent USB head, USB-A, um, and that's designed to go into the side of like a laptop. So you can stick into the laptop and cool yourself in the middle of the summer. That's the idea, right? That's the tagline. Uh, this little silver piece is the adjuster, so it's variable, and you can actually turn that up or down as you like. And the noise levels, which I'll cover a little bit later in the video, um, they, you, they go from being uh, totally unobtrusive to a little bit annoying. Uh, so uh, this is the this is the, the the one that I've had for the longest. Um, I decided to get another one of these because they're just so bloody handy. So this has absolutely saved my life on like airplanes. And while I know COVID is still raging and um, you know most people aren't traveling, whether you're, you're stuck at home without air conditioning or you know you just you just want a quick uh, kind of a quick cool down. Let's say you're in a hospital bed or you're, you know, you're not feeling well, you're on a drive and you want the kids to entertain themselves. Well, then why not have them chop off their fingers? I, I mean, uh, this thing doesn't have actually finger choppy power, as I was saying earlier. I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Uh, but this is, this is basically a, um, again, another stiff gooseneck USB connected fan. Love this thing. It used to sell for like four to six pounds, uh, which is like Wow, seven or eight dollars. Uh, it was really cheap. And then Amazon um, changed the pricing. So actually this thing is now like, it's like, I think it's like about 12 pounds for this, which I think is overpriced. You might be able to get it from another uh, supplier for less money because of all three, this one has the least for it, right? Going for it. All it is, is it is just a fan with no stand and you have to be able to like plug it in or something. You can see here, I can stop with my fingers. And I think these fans, if you look at them just, you know, through a video or whatever, you're like, okay, how much air is that really pushing? So a little bit later, I'll, I'll cover off air pressure and show you it moving some light objects so you can kind of get a good flavor for that. Uh, but this one, as I said, of the three, uh, I've found to be the most versatile. You can use it in all kinds of applications. Here you can see the kind of airflow, just an idea. That's a little like post-it note. So imagine a piece of sellotape or something. Um, scotch tape if you're an American and uh, I love this one like I, I would not go on a trip without this anymore I've been stuck you know on a bus waiting for a plane to take off 
um, for an hour or something caught in a cabin and I just pull out a small battery bank. Uh, not like this one, this is a big one, <laughs> but a small battery bank, you just have this handheld fan. And it's much better than any of those feckin' uh, double-A battery spray your face with water fans you'd pick up at like a park or something. It's actually quite strong. Um, and, and so that's why I like it. Uh, one of my favorites uh, of this bunch. I do like all three fans, but they all have like slightly different applications. And that's why I thought, look, let's put a video together. Because we had a couple of hot days here in the UK. And these fans I've been using for several years. Um, and I really like them. Now, of the three, from a VR uh, point of view, and actually just general computing, this is the one that I use the most. This is my desk fan. So this one, it's got a base. It's got the gooseneck. It's got a variable adjuster. And it just sits on a desk. Um, and I have another one of these. I had a black one. You'll see it in the background of the video on this. Uh, so I decided to pick up a white one to kind of go with the Quest and sit on my desk. I've been trying to kind of make my applications. Uh, I've got a bunch of things that are hardware and black. And lately I've been like, okay, let's try hardware and white. So um, I've been trying that as well. So as you can see, this thing looks super slick. The nice thing about a white fan versus the black fan is that it's, um, it doesn't pick up dust or it doesn't show off dust as easily on the fins. And that's what I like about it. Now the cable on these is actually really long. It feels like it's like a, probably like a two meter cable. Like it's, it's generous. Um, and that's nice because even if you have a big desk, you can route the power cable, just a USB connector, um, to your outlet, to the back of your PC, whatever you want. Now, if you have it on your PC, it's nice because if the ports are not charged or powered when your PC is off, then the fan just turns off. And you don't have to be mucking around with like turning it off or on. Every time you turn the PC on, you've got a fan. Now it's got this lovely, um, this lovely like flexibility in the neck. Like you can absolutely bend this thing any way you want. It's like, you know, the perfect lady. And you've, you've got the little volume adjuster, but like I said, the action on the volume adjuster is really nice. It's got kind of a snap when you close it or open it. So you know very clearly, even if you're not looking at it. There you can see it's, it's actually quite strong, like sitting away from it or even standing. If I'm doing VR standing away from my desk, I still feel a light breeze off of this thing at the higher settings. And it's almost inaudible. And it is, for any creators out there, it's inaudible to a lavalier microphone. So don't worry about it kind of causing the ruffle now noise that you're hearing. I'm purposefully pointing these, um, uh, these, these fans at the mics so you can hear it. Okay, uh, the, the bottom as you can see is kind of like a, it's like an aluminum uh, or aluminum uh, base. And uh, it's just a nice like pad. So you don't have to actually um, add any foam or anything to the bottom. It, as it comes, you can sit on your desk and it's, it's just nice. Uh, it's lovely. I actually, I, I love this this model. This um, uh, this version of this fan, I think, looks really sleek. Uh, the slight kind of chrome effect as well works very well. Uh, not that that matters, because it's just a feckin' fan, okay? <laughs> Let's not get too, too excited here now. But of the three, that's my favorite. Uh, my second favorite is the one on the left, and the one that's a bit weird is the one on the right, okay? So those are the three fans, and I like them a lot. Okay. Now it's time for the air pressure test. So let's go ahead and show you using these little post-it notes, as you've seen already in a couple of clips. Uh, we're gonna use these as a checker for how good the airflow is on the three, okay? Just to cut to the chase out of the three, I'd say the, the, um, the weakest of the lot, uh, just in terms of airflow, is probably the fan that's on screen right now, okay? The, uh, the Arctic some air light. Weird name, but hey. So that goes from like the lowest uh, rotations per minute or, and again, I'm not gonna do it by the manufacturer spec, it's based on how I feel. So when I'm using this fan, like this one, I have to crank it up pretty high to feel it, uh, feel its effect. The nicest thing about this fan is A, it's variable, B, it's caged, so you can't hurt yourself, even like by surprise. You can just grab it blindly um, and it, it, won't, it won't hurt you. And then I realized when I was doing this test, I was like, hang on a second here. Look at how little these are moving. They're not even in, in like, there you go. Can you hear that? I'm like toying around with this thing. You can see um, I, I'm not having much success. It's like, Jesus, it's making a sound but there really isn't much coming off of it. And sometimes that's just 
the way it is. That's just the way it is. Uh, you play with these things. I, I, I've had these like little post-it stickers for too long. And I was like, what can I use these for? And then, perfect. Air tunnel test. And so I try all these different things. Yeah, you can see. I mean, I don't think I have it on the highest setting here. But it, this is not... Uh, this is not the fan that you want for like for like super push. The desk fan is the strongest of the lot. Um, it isn't, I don't think, because of like power source or anything like that. But this one, um, this one you can kind of crank it up. It's just weird. Here you can see, right? Like, okay, so that desk isn't very frictive. There isn't much resistance. Uh, the battery is smooth. So it's enough that it's able to push the battery around. And it gives you an idea that, okay, it's got some force when it's turned all the way up um, but again it's it's mild compared to the other fans now the disadvantage of the i'll call it the gooseneck fan the one that's totally exposed uh, that you just like add to a, a battery pack or something um, the problem with that one is it's exposed right it's kind of bare bones but it also means it's kind of lightweight like there isn't much to it i don't know what the feck i was doing here um, shooting this i've cut loads of footage out but I'm just going to leave this in because some of these are just fun to look at. And when you're watching a video, sometimes it's like, ooh, ah, it's like visual ASMR or something. It's weird. Um, honestly, this whole video is a bit strange. <laughs> look at that. What am I doing? I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> like I said, I didn't want this to be a serious video. This is... Um, the purpose of this is to show you these fans. It's also too long, right? This is like a really long video. Like 20 minute video for uh, for three fans is a little bit silly. Now what am I doing? Look, I'm dangling. This is my genius. I'm like, here, let's let's dangle some earphones. Maybe that'll show them the force. Show them the force. Sh show them the force, Luke. Okay, here's the small battery bank I was talking about. This combination has saved me so many times. Now these little battery banks, and that's like a 3,500 milliamp hour one. I originally bought it for Pokemon Go uh, to be able to give my phone just that little bit of extra juice. Um, but you pop this in. It's actually got an on switch, which is nice on this on this battery. So I click that and boom. The problem is whatever the fan gives you, that's all you're getting. I think it's like 1,000 RPM. Um, but you, you basically, you plug this in. And as you can see, you know, while it's active, it's... It's not going to cut your fingers or anything like that. Even if you didn't know what you were doing, you stuck your pinky in it. I think you'd have to really go at it at a weird angle to hurt yourself. Um, now, now, obviously, it could like tangle hair up or something. So I wouldn't necessarily give it to a group of little girls and have them running around as if it was a daisy. Um, but yeah, you know, compared to the other one, uh, there is no cage. It's completely exposed. And it gives you, I'll call it like a medium amount of force. Okay. Uh, whereas this other one goes from like low to medium high. That's what I would say. Uh, so if you want, if you specifically want a fan that's going to be gentle, like almost no air circulation. So it's not like kicking off your nose, you know, if you're using your laptop or whatever, and you want it to be quiet, like whisper quiet, then that variable fan is really a, a good one. Um, it's a little bit bulky. It's a bit chunky. It feels like holding a burger <laughs> when you hold it. It's like a it's like a small to medium burger. Um, I like the variability. I like the cage. Okay. Uh, this is the one that's been sitting in the box more for me than anything else. Um, and we're going to get on to some VR tests in a little bit. And I'll show you how this fan works well in that situation, but is a little bit heavy. Okay. Now we're just going to enjoy a few more product shots while we uh, kind of wrap out this section. <sighs> but yeah, it's been, it's been very warm lately. Um, We've been having a lot more warm days, probably global warming, um, you know, attributed to that. And so a lot of people are looking at like cheap solutions to cool down. Um, and I've found these guys, which are very low drain in terms of like battery life. You know, they, they will go for, I can probably have these fans running for 24 hours off of one of these battery banks and they'll just run, 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 totally happy. Uh, even the small one will run for like hours, like four or six hours, something like that. <laughs> so this is like such a nice way, portable way of cooling down with a handheld fan or whatever. Now, the disadvantage of this guy is if you don't get a battery bank that's like well shaped to accommodate a fan and you have a way to prop it up or 
I don't know, blue tack to stick it to a desk or something, then it'll try to run away from you, right? And it won't necessarily want to just stand still. So this is where the, the desk fan, this guy, my favorite of the lot, uh, is, is great. Okay, so here you go. It's got a little switch, lovely shape to it. The base, the head, looks great on a desk. And then as you turn up the speed, it moves from being honestly silent, right, uh, up to a light hum. Light hum. Like, um, almost like the sound you'd hear if your PC was under your desk and it wasn't under load. It was just like, you know, tipping away. There, there was a fan. You could hear a fan noise. That's the level of fan noise here. Okay. Now again, this is pointing directly into the mic. The whole point is that you're able to hear it. I hope you can hear that. All right, so let's move on to the VR side. All right, so what you're gonna need is an adapter, USB-C to USB-A. And then, just like any good sex education class, you just plug those two right in, okay? Now, this is the gooseneck one, and this is the one that's exposed. This is the one I would actually recommend. Um, it is fixed speed, but you can kind of tilt it towards you or away from you if you want more or less of a cooling effect on your neck, your ears, um, even your face, right? And the Quest itself. So it keeps everything cool. Now you can see here there's a little bit of play, but actually these, um, the metal connector is quite sturdy, and I like that a lot. Now, in contrast, we have the caged one, right? This is the sum air again. It is variable. That's quite nice. The weight, however, is just, just beyond my comfort point for balance. Now I've got quite a sensitive neck. I've had neck issues in the past. And this is my unit and I use, as you can see, I use the Elite Strap, I use the VR cover, and I even use the back VR cover pad for the rear of the head just to give a little bit more balance and comfort overall. So generally my headset is pretty comfortable and pretty balanced. But on the side of the headset, as I'm turning it on, um, uh, you notice the weight and it's kind of like a pull to the left. And that's not terribly comfortable. I think you'd be able to, especially if you, had like a, if you have a young neck, like say you're, I don't know, 16, 22, something like that, then you would be able to piece by piece go through and uh, you'd be able to manage it for an hour or two. I think no problem with this fan. As I said, the benefits of this fan are no surprises. You don't, you don't end up getting your fingers caught in the fan when you're trying to adjust the, the, the speed dial. Um, I was running it at like, I'll call it two thirds to max. Um, and I was running it with things like Beat Saber and all that. And I know it looks like it jets out from the headset, but unless you've got, and I'm a pretty skinny guy, unless you've got like really, really skinny shoulders and you're putting your arms like right to the left or, or right of your head, I didn't find a problem. I played some expert Beat Saber and my hands didn't come close to the fans. Like, not at all in the swing pattern. So, and I, I played some Skyrim with it as well. So, you can see here, sturdy enough. Like, it's not going to damage your port. Um, it's actually the gooseneck itself is nice and sturdy and it stays in place. So where you put it, it stays. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't, it doesn't sag while you're playing. And then the, the force of the air that's coming at you is like really quite nice. So I'll just show you here how it looks like on me, uh, for example. So it's blowing away. You can see it's already it'll disappear one of these, um, little post-it bits on the side after a little bit of time. But the nice thing is it is easy to find the volume dial even when you can't see. So what you do is you just reach up with your hand, right? And you're gonna you're gonna kind of trace your hand down the side of the, the goose the gooseneck. <laughs> There's me pretending to play Beat Saber, which I had just done actually a few minutes before shooting this. And and headphones are not a problem. They're actually nowhere near it. Again, you might just be thinking like, oh, what would there be some interference or anything like that? Does it have an effect? Nope. Nope. Headphones work just fine with these. It's actually in a kind of like a dead zone. So you don't have to worry about um, overheating. And it keeps you cool and it keeps you gaming longer. Now, this is the one I'd recommend. 
Okay, as I said, the gooseneck. It looks like it. Oh my god, what's this guy doing? This is dangerous. But this is the one that it's light enough that it doesn't become a problem. You angle it and it just gets powered and it just feels so good. And even if you do grab the blades for a half a second, your brain's like, oh god, I'm dying. But then you're fine. So all you need is one of these adapters. And I will link to that in the description. So yeah, between the two, uh, I'm, I'm most happy with the gooseneck version. And I hope you, you know, go pick up some of these fans. Everyone loves them. <laughs>